All right, this is the November 18th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. We're being uh, taped by FCAT Community Access Television for viewing later by our residents uh, and the public. First item on the agenda. Okay, we have the minutes. Everybody look at the minutes. So these are the minutes of two or three weeks ago um, that we tabled last meeting. And okay, we've got the 28th. Right, I don't remember why we tabled them. Did we have corrections? We were all here. Which, which date is that? Oh, the 28th. Okay. Yeah, that's what we have on the agenda. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and we do not have the meetings from last Monday yeah, we ready do. yet. So we have the minutes, yeah, there. but they weren't on the agenda. Okay. On the 4th. The 4th, I saw them. I read them. Yeah, the 4th is fine. Um, the, uh, tw the 12th, we don't have minutes for yet. All right, the only thing we have on the agenda are the meeting minutes for the 28th. Yeah, yeah. All right, has everybody read the yeah. minutes? Everybody's happy? Yeah. No corrections or additions? Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes second. for the yes. uh, meeting of October yes. 28th. Yes. I have a second, all in favor? Okay. Meetings attended by select board members. Yeah, uh, just since the meeting, well, our last meeting six days ago, uh, left that and went right to the Frontier Budget Subcommittee. Um, the unhappy news that the Chapter 70 fund was billed to the state twice and was paid by the state twice. So the fantastic financial picture that appeared. Um, ah, what's an error? <sighs> yes, yeah, so we had to send back a huge check to the state. Um, that was unpleasant. So, Ooh, okay. uh, yeah, and... Um, and then the 13th, then there was a frontier meeting, school committee meeting later that night. The 13th was the, was the frontier capital improvement meeting, which Robert also attended as the select board designate. Um, and that, uh, we should make a correction. It's not necessarily a correction to the minutes, but we advised based on the last meeting that we had been to the week before that the front frontier was not going to be able to complete that MVP grant for the permeable asphalt parking lot. Um, but it turns out that they were able to get the engineering done um, within a, within one day and get one day and and that so that Curtis fellow that Curtis Dixon fellow the, the mm -hmm. consultant from Deerfield that was here representing Deerfield's MVP project his son um, who just bought a house in Deerfield and moved to Deerfield is one of the um, main partners in uh, tie and bond engineering firm and donated that company's engineering services to Frontier for the purpose of that application. So thanks to the time, thank you, Ty and Bond, because that was not in the budget. We did not have the money to do that, to do that. But he turned a, a thing around in one day um, so that we could apply. Uh, didn't make a commitment to do the engineering work, but got enough so that we could make the application. Um, so that was a Right. Needed to correct what was said before. And which because was, we had signed it, then they apply as a regional application. Yep. And so that's a good thing. Right. Um, okay. And then, yeah, Thursday was uh, a five-hour Union 38 contract negotiation session. And next time it's your turn. Do they ever end? <laughs> next time it's your turn. Uh, okay. This is... Just let me... There's know. nothing I can say outside of, a, uh, yeah, yeah, outside yeah. of an executive session. Okay. But me no happy camper. All right. <laughs> Robert? <clears throat> so when the meeting last, when Phil ran off to his meeting, I had to run off to a Conservation Commission meeting across the street. So, uh, but the Conservation Commission meetings are pleasant and, and not like <laughs> not like tour meetings. Um, and, uh, and we did have a Frontier Capital Improvement Committee meeting. And, uh, and then Thursday, I got to go to Tom's Town Academy meeting again, which was wonderful. Uh, so it was, uh, it, was, it was Lee giving maybe an hour and a half long presentation on how to use all the Conway mapping programs. It was, it was detailed and, um, and everyone there was really impressed with 
with Lee's unbelievable knowledge of, of all the stuff you can do with the Conway Conway mapping. So yeah, unfortunately, I had a conflict, so I couldn't make the uh, very good the town academy last Thursday. Uh, okay, I didn't have any meetings that uh, that were relative to what we're doing here. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Uh, okay, public comments. Do we have any public comments? No public comments. All right. Old business. Special town meeting draft warrant. Do we want to? Um, do we want to take? Yeah. Bob's do this request the first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bob, you're requesting that the fire chief be designated a strong chief. Mm -hmm. Okay. We. When I was hired back in 1980, I was told I retired under the Strong Chief Act, but Tom was unable to find where the town accepted the chapter, the one, uh, chapter 48, Mass General Laws, chapter 48, section 42, and is the Strong Chief in 42A is a weak chief act. Uh, they couldn't find any recognition of the town of adopting it like that. So, uh, and I have not looked back. I, I don't know how, how, what, where you investigated it, but I didn't know. Jenny has records. But did anybody look back into the select board's meetings when I was appointed? Well, it's a town meeting vote to, to adopt a, a mm -hmm. general law. I understand that. I was wondering what, what, what it said in the minutes. You probably can't find them anymore. I don't know. Quite a while ago. A long time before me, or many so, of us. Um, but anyway, all, all the town warrant articles for all the years are right in that safe in the binder in the middle mm -hmm. shelf. I don't know what year it was, but you'd have to 1980. go. 1980. It would have been before July 1st, 1980. So, if it was a warrant article, it would be in there along with the recorded vote. Mm -hmm. so, but anyway, the reason I brought this up was. Mm -hmm. Because myself and the fire chief master were talking about this somewhat of a mixed merger, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, we felt that that because he's a strong chief in Asheville, and evidently I'm not, according to Tom, what Tom says, and, and the town didn't adopt the act. They felt that if if eventually this merger was going to form into one chief for both towns that the chiefs should be of equal quality, not one strong, one weak. Mm -hmm. Especially if you got one chief covering both towns. All right, so this is this was all, all brought up because of what yep. we're talking about mm -hmm. with Asheville. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, how, you know, basically you've been running things as basically a strong a chief. strong chief, you? right. Okay. Although we still uh, are uh, we still appoint up to up to when Tom started. He started having you appoint the deputy chiefs. Prior to I don't I believe I appointed them all. Well, the town bylaws says that the select board appoints um, is the official. The personnel bylaw mm -hmm. gives the select board the authority to appoint employees of the town. Okay. It always seems like there's just a name that's brought forward. And we vote, oh, and it's always been voted on. Mm -hmm. I mean, just like tonight, there's a name that's brought forward from the fire department, David Shaw, to appoint him as a firefighter. Mm -hmm. And has there ever been an instance where a name was brought for forward by you in the department, and it was it was not voted on? Years past, we were never it was never voted from year to year to appoint anybody to anything other than the fire chief. The boards never ever appointed the members. On a yearly basis, but we go through and appoint. We go through and we do authorize them all now. I mean, we we authorize them all now. But years past, we didn't. Uh -huh. They didn't. I mean, the board just didn't do it. I mean, can we call you a strong chief without adopting this rule? I, mean, you know, I don't is, think is so. Is it just a name? It has to be official, I believe. And this has to be voted at town meeting. Yes. Okay, and that's why we're talking about it mm -hmm. in relation yep. to the warrant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't change the sweeping powers of the board of selectmen, from what I read here, and it's just this chapter that I, in 19, uh, 2007, I had the 
Department of uh, Fire Service sent me up copies of this. And uh, they, it doesn't change the sweeping powers of the Board of Stockmen as far as the fire chief goes. Mm -hmm. They still can hire and fire the fire chief whenever they want. Yeah. Uh, the only thing uh, in there was, I thought was uh, on the strong chief end of it, that was a little different. It says that they can appoint the fire chief up to a three year term. They don't have to do it on a yearly basis. They can do it up to three years if they want. Which is right, that's right, that's right at the bottom of the appointment, the article, for section 42. The 43, uh, 42A part, which is I we classify as a weak chief act, um, They it's pretty much laid out that uh, the select board appoints what you're doing now. Everybody, the members and everything. Um, the select board also um, currently would have uh, approval authority over the policies of the fire department, mm -hmm. um, which I've certainly never brought you. I've never questioned anything mm -hmm. that uh, has been done. But that's on the 42A, the weak chief yeah. Well, the, the, the strong chief would have, uh, it says, absolute authority over the mm -hmm. policies and procedures within right. the fire department. And I don't think anybody's ever questioned the chief's role regarding that. The main question is regarding the appointing authority. And mm -hmm. again, the town bylaws gives appointing authority to the select board. Right. So it would have to be another town act that changed The reason that. That, that the whole thing was bought about, and I know back when they, when they were started this, was we were always told that it was mainly because it gave more continuity in the fire departments in the small communities because the, the chief wasn't subject to being replaced from year to year. By say a new select board one might come in, didn't like them, could get them booted out. That's if um, if they appointed for three years, right. which is, is not mandatory under the strong because chief. Because that, 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 your continuity of the departments would fall apart if you started to change the chief every year, because then there would be a, such a disrepair and somebody yeah. would come in and start something new all over again and go in a different direction than their previous chief, and it just would be a. So, what would change mess. if we did this? Nothing. Would it change the role of the fire chief, or would it be the person who's doing the job? I mean, who who is? What it is? What it is? The, if the, the chief, the of strong Conway. chief is is the fire chief handles everything in the department. But would that be the Conway fire chief job? Would be a strong chief, or you would be a strong chief? The Conway uh, fire chief position would be a strong chief, no matter who's got it. So that whoever was there would be responsible for hiring and firing within their department. I mean, I, for me, I'm comfortable making you a strong chief, but you're, I don't know how many more years you're going to be willing well, to do I mean, this. And, so, and, well, the, and, the, 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 like I said, the strong chief, you guys could change it. If you, uh, you appoint somebody a strong, a new chief came in, you appoint a strong chief, and a year later you say, you know, the guy's doing an absolutely lousy job, we're not going to hire him. It's legal to do it. Well, that, that, you know, that's we're hoping not to get into that situation. Well, we certainly right? are, but I mean... To begin with, because that gets but, to that continuity right. question you were mentioning. Right. Now, you think in 1980 you were hired as a strong They were told me I was, but the boards are all passed and gone now. No, it, it, it requires a vote of town meeting. Okay. If it's not in the warrant book, mm -hmm. then it didn't... Then it's well, not, you, then it didn't get voted. If you look back into the select board minutes back in the early 80s, very, very, very vague. There's hardly anything mentioned from meeting to meeting. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, <laughs> just absolutely. The it, it's a lot easier to keep that way. Mm -hmm. uh, and take. So, uh, but, um, yeah. If, so, is it too late to get a town? What, do you have? Is there town meeting warrant language for that, this strong? That, that that would be very easy to insert. Um, opinions. I, I I don't know. I Tom. Yeah, I'm I don't. Um, I usually take the point of view of the select board, and <laughs> um, you know, I I don't see that there's any any reason to change the status because of you know any potential future relationship with Ashfield. Um, I think it's up to you know who the appointing authority was. There was a point recently when the town gave the appointing authority to the select board, um, so that was 
how the town felt, you know, when the personnel bylaw was enacted. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say how the town would 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 uh, feel about a strong fire chief. Phil, what do you think? I'm comfortable currently just being a rubber stamp to the recommendations of the fire chief, um, which is sort of the same as just letting the fire chief do it anyway. So uh, there's not too much difference. Um, I haven't seen the law or read the stats, whatever, and so I don't, um, you know, you, usually you form a sort of a separate twist on the thing once you actually read all that, but uh, um, I'd be okay with it being a warrant article and letting the town meeting decide, that's for sure. do that. Okay. You want to make it a warrant article? Sure. Okay. Uh, let's put it on the special town meeting warrant. We'll let the, we'll let yeah, the uh, residents make a decision on that. I just think our fire department is going great, and yeah. I, okay. I get okay. I, it makes me nervous to start changing things that are going great. But I, but I, I'm nervous about joining up in any kind with of relationship Ashfield. with Ashfield. That's true. Yes, yeah. um, you will. You will be interesting to hear that. I should, maybe I shouldn't say this in public, but mm. their last yeah. major structure fire they had, but they had three members of their department, yeah. and we had thirteen of ours. Yeah. And Norton Hill. Hill. I, I thought Hill there was Road. only two. You no, know, there was a chief and two. Amherst only got two the other day too. No, that was the one on Norton Hill Road, and yes. all the residents in that town have noticed, um, or in, so that I've been approached about it when I've been up there. Because my daughter's, my daughter's a chef up there at oh. the lake house oh, doing yeah. vegan, vegan cooking. She does a great job. It's wonderful. Well, the town of Asheville recently had a structure fire, and only two people came up. That's right. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Amherst. Oh, Amherst. The town of Amherst. Amherst. And they brought in two fire trucks, one fireman each. Oh my God. Wow. And you it, know why though? No. Because there are other firefighters out on ambulance calls. And they have four or five ambulances now down there. And they all make Every, required to every pay. everybody that I talked to in Nashville just say that since Elmer's changed hands, nobody that's not the same and that they've lost their town center, they've lost their sense of community and um, that that you can tell all throughout town government and town life there. Hmm. But, okay. All right, so we're we're okay. I'll make a motion that we, we put an, a warrant article on a second a special town meeting okay. warrant. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. All this in favor? Uh, Hi. Does Tom want to copy this to read? Or somebody to yeah. I would like to. I'll let you hang on to this as long as you give it back to me. Promise me by the throne of the Alpha God that you'll return it. So you'll have to pitch this at town meeting now. I, you know, yep. I mean, because you understand what it is. Good. It's basically, is just, just the, the select board have control over the fire chief? Over the fire chief, but you then have. Control. And then I have control over everybody else. Right. Right. Which has been that way for 40 years, pretty much. Okay. Not really, it's not going to affect the department any different. I'll, I'll tell you what, while Bob is here, let's, uh, let's get his recommendation for appointing uh, David Shaw as a volunteer firefighter. Bob, do you I highly you recommend you say? appoint David Shaw. He's met with us. He seems like a very nice man. Uh, he has, I don't know if you want to do the quarry uh, 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 check again, because Kenny Lamette just did one on him for his Class A to handle the license. How long ago? I think just a month or two ago. Uh, then we don't need to do it again. So. Okay. So. Um, so he's recommended mm -hmm. by you. Yeah. He, okay. well, the great thing is he worked right across the street Okay. at Orchard Equipment. And he lives right up the street. We go a quarter mile from the station. So. Okay. He's and a great asset. Any other questions for Bob on that? All right. I'll, I'll make a motion that uh, on the recommendation of our fire chief, we appoint David Shaw as a volunteer firefighter. Uh, do we have a term ending on that, Tom? June 30th. June 30th of this year, okay. of next year. June 30th of 2020. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Okay. Right. Thank you, Bob. Okay. All set? Yeah. Appreciate Good. it. Thank you. Do I have anything to sign for Shaw? Yes. It should be in the. Uh... Oh, uh... no, you don't have anything to sign for Shaw. 
Okay. You can just adopt it and I'll send something in. Okay. All right. Uh, do we do we want to wait um, to look over the uh, the warrant, Tom? Um, no, I'm ready to go. What what are these young ladies doing here? Or are they just curious? Or are they the, are they on the agenda? Uh, this is the signing the uh, the certificate for the uh, marijuana operation. There, signing the uh, municipal. So it's the last one, the last receipt, one. agenda item. Approve municipal response. Yeah, response, that's what it is. Has, I think, three but, different but, names. So we, <laughs> we, you, you can join the hot seat here. Okay. So we, we, okay. We, I, I, I'm ready to go with the warrant, but you can, you can easily we, take we got, we got a matter. Yeah. I'm happy to. And uh, we have a letter, but I, I don't know about everybody else. I don't know what it's about. I'm, I'm happy to give the background on that. Great. Go ahead. Great. Um, as I part, slide in because I've only got 60 seconds. Oh, okay. Is that okay? Sure. Yep. Absolutely. Here. Dave Breland contract. It's very simple. We discussed it in past meetings. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is just formalizing this disc. Yeah. Yeah. Was there any change in anything from the so well, we it's, it's a didn't smaller even, scope of work, right? Smaller scope. Yeah. But I had no, I didn't even ask him to do this. I thought he would just go us less. But he's just formalizing the fact that he would bill us five thousand eight hundred dollars less. And that's because someone else. That's because he's not doing oh. some of the work that the value engineer is. Yeah. yeah, the value engineer is doing the work, and we already made and that we agreement. We discussed with these that. numbers earlier. We did. I thought we proved all yeah. of this a week we ago, did. but we but proved it all. You but he we just got formalized this. it. Okay. So all right, so we, we just need to sign one of these. We need one or two copies. Two. Two, okay. Do we need a motion to do that? Yes, and yeah. a vote, please, thank you. All right, Walter, on your recommendation, we're gonna sign this um, revised scope of service proposal for uh, construction of the 76 foot by 60 foot maintenance building for the Conway uh, Highway Department. Do I have a second? Yes. Yes. All in favor? Uh, yes. And then Thank the you. DP Thank you. Listens to the well thing. That's nothing, DSM. right? <laughs> yeah, that's not it. Oh no, no. You want the all in the plan, plan, all in the site plan, <laughs> all reviewed by the conservation. <laughs> Why did the consultant feel the need to do something? I don't know that. Did he, did he lack a tape measure? I think he lacked some background information. Okay, now we have uh, Tom, uh, the contract with uh, municipal response to the marijuana establishment. Yes, this is letting the town know that Roaring Glen Farms has applied for a license. Um, I think we're actually all well aware of that. We actually right. knew, I knew that already. <laughs> um, yes. And um, I thought we had negotiated all of this last well, it's interesting. Not last year. Right. So, so what we have to do is, uh, if you look at page two, it says municipal response, uh, we have to affirm that the entity listed above is in compliance with municipal bylaws and ordinances. Um, there, I saw your correspondence from the planning committee. Yeah, yeah, and and we don't need, if we check yes, that's all we, that's all we need to do. And uh, the reason that I'm recommending checking yes is because it is an it is um, uh, the um, application is in compliance with municipal bylaws. Uh, what the the planning board role comes later, and it's explained in a guidance document which I also sent, and I think walked people through about this. That any planning board issues. Um, are dealt with in the uh, site plan review and the uh, special permit process. So, um, because uh, it is um, entirely possible that um, this operation uh, is fully in compliance and doesn't need anything, 
um, including any consideration of the special permit process. Though I, I, it, it may. Uh, I mean, it needs a special permit, uh, but special conditions. Um, I'm recommending saying yes, they are in com compliance with municipal bylaws because we do allow it. Um, the the question of that there was a question of where it was, um, and if it's if you know it just can't be somewhere where it can't be, and that is something that's going to happen in the planning board process with the site plan review. All right. So what we're saying is it's compliance with our bylaws. The planning board takes over and does specifics in terms of, of what they need to do. Yeah. Okay. They're the specifics people. So and it sounds like like every marijuana establishment uh, that completes their application, then their town gets a copy of this. I mean, it sounds like yeah. This is a formal notification yes. to the town. Yes. That we have. A completed a application. Along with the option to do nothing. And I always like that option. I like, I like being yeah. given that option. Yeah, well, I, always for everything. That, that would make them wait 60 days. Right, right, right. right. That was right, the downside right. to that option. But yeah. Great. All right, I'll make a motion that we sign this as being in compliance with our municipal bylaws. Uh, do I have a second? Second. Yes. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Yeah. Congratulations for getting it this far. Well, thank you. And that's really why I'm here. I wanted to thank you for, this has been a very complicated process. Yes. We've been doing it pretty much daily. So, um, and and this, this is another one of those examples of it's very confusing. I've gone back and forth with Tom trying to provide you all with the information um, that, I, that I can um, because as you know, you've already sat and talked with us for a very long time, and you know a lot about this. Um, um, going forward, and even now, I wanted to offer to answer any questions, if there are any big questions you have, if you've heard anything on the street that I might be able to clarify, or um, make sure that you have my contact information if, you, if you're curious. I had heard that you were considering doing hemp instead of marijuana. That so, was, we're not, so, that, is that, that was, I, I, I heard they sent us a it, thing that said that it, whatever, if that's said don't. true, it is in fact confidential information. That's what I tried to say. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I didn't say that. But um, to answer your question, so, so, so neither uh, confirm nor okay, deny that's So, um, so um, somebody, somebody from the, yeah, somebody from the Conway Historical Society saw that, they called me up this afternoon and saw that you were on the agenda. That's the museum, two things down. Mm -hmm. And they have a speaker series. And because you are now part of the town history and the, the fabric of the community, mm -hmm. um, uh, not that you weren't before, but now this is, this is, his, this is historical. This is the first. I, I did. This is so, very so they want they, they wanted your contact. If I could share with them your contact information, they want to. Um, they're going to ask you if you want to come and speak to the historical society. I think in March, but I'll let them ask sure. you. You're, it's okay to say no. Did, did, um, just, <laughs> I'm just passing. You can say no. It's fine. No, no, no problems. But um, they'll. If that's okay with you, I'll share your contact information and they'll contact you. Great. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we just have to sign one and you just have to sign I just, it. I just signed it. Okay. Okay, next item uh, we have um, an easement issue, the draft letter regarding poles installed on the town's right of way at 46 East Guinea Road. Uh, we've gotten a, uh, an opinion from our town council that everybody has well, seen. It was an opinion, sort of. It was more like a one-sentence factual thing and sort of declined the opportunity to provide an opinion. Um, although one could imply within his instructions that an opinion was somehow embedded within that. But, um, he basically said send the letter. I thought he said he, he Right, send it. the letter, but send the, letter. the question that was in the email he did not answer. Okay. Well, we've we've consulted with town council. Yes. And operating on what town council has told so us. Let's send the letter. We will yeah. send the letter. Yes. Okay. Is that's that, as, is that's that, as much as that's as that, far as we got. Is that good. Okay. Good. And we I'll put make, off doing this last week because we wanted to talk to town council. I'll make a motion that we sign the letter and we send the letter. <clears throat> You'll have a second on that motion. Yes. Okay. All in favor. Aye. Glad we got through that. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Tom. Yeah. Let's take it away on the uh, on the warrant. Uh, for the first three articles, the town clerk is requesting increase in fees clerk on updates to town clerk fees. Sounds like a good idea. And so are uh, we going to do recommendations I, on each of these now? Yes, Great. please. No? You could do the first three all together if you like. That might make sense. I, I, I think they're long overdue. Actually, the first, yeah, the first three, yeah. I think they're long overdue. Increases in those fees. Um, any opinions? I say yes. I like the first two. I know, you don't like the least one. No. I understand. All right, how about the first one? Are we in agreement on the first one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's three zero on the first one. Yes. And the second one. I like Are we that. in agreement with the second one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's three zero on the second one. Okay. Now the third one. The leash law. What are we? Ju we're just increasing. We're, we're not changing anything, but we're increasing fines, right? Well, they're like wording change. They're increasing yeah. the fine, and they're increasing the so to to the scoff law that does not license and ignores everything. There was in the past just a maximum fine of $20. Now it's, uh, you're at the mercy of the court kind of a thing. So that's a big difference. And I, 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 will remind, uh, I will remind the select board that the reason that dogs are required to be licensed is so that they will be vaccinated against rabies, which is a public health matter, uh, mm -hmm. a serious public health matter. Yeah, um, yeah I don't know about that. But the, the scoff law is the end of this part? No, this part where, where it says it, they, they cross out the fine for non for noncompliance and instead um, you're just going in accordance with non criminal disposition. Um, which means you get a ticket. Yeah, which Greenfield District Court will assess whatever. So that so that amount went up it is gonna go up for whoever is prosecuted under that. Okay. So, but that, that wouldn't even bother me. It's not just for the general fact that I buy, I would be. I, I understand it's going to pay whatever, but I can't, in good faith, vote for something that I know that I violate every single day. Okay, two to one. So, is well, that what you're so saying? You are voting on behalf of the town and not yourself yeah. in your yeah. position, of course. Yes. Yeah. There's there's what, many there's many like me though. What's in the greater good of all our residents? To separate this into big dog and small dog. Phil, okay, are you are you against? Is it going to be two to one? Yes. Okay, two to one. I'm going to start writing these. Oh no. I'm, I'm, I'm well, writing. Well, you, yeah. you're, I'm writing. Yeah, you're yeah, not proposing I'll, I'll that we amend this, or, or that we just okay. take this one Six section out and then you would support. All right, Article Four. How does everybody feel about yeah, the Article basic Four? Basic concepts. I can't. I mean, I, I break. I, I, but, the, but the rest of it, you like. We're we're we're, we're, we're already past that. Okay. We're already past okay. that. Guys. Okay. Article Four. Uh, the assessors are requesting that the town consider this. They will present, uh, uh, essentially this, this makes the date of assessment uh, consistent with the fiscal year. That's, that's great. That's fine. And it's, is everybody in accordance with that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Three zero. I'm just right. hoping that they, this has no, this is the kind of thing that you, this has, no, it has no potential boomerang in school assessments or anything like that. No, no, no. Um, an article five, I've changed the wording uh, to, for the board of selectmen to appoint a board of cemetery commissioners, um, and we can use that term whenever there might be confusion with the private group that is calling itself the cemetery commission. There's a private group. There is calling themselves the cemetery commission. Did everybody else see the email this morning from the historical commission? which is a public group, as opposed to the historical society. Yes. Unlike the cemetery society, which yes. doesn't exist. Yes, um, exactly. The, no, the, um, the people running Pine Grove and Howland, which are the two active cemeteries, uh, operate under the name of the Cemetery Commission. Uh, okay. I, I don't know how they are appointed or who appoints them, but uh, this would at least 
um, reduce any confusion. And they the themselves are broke. And confusion. they themselves are desperately undercut, financed, and, and broke, and never have enough money every year to even do the mowing. Um, okay. Is everybody in, a, in accordance with five? Sure. Phil, uh, are we three yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Next one, Tom. Uh, these figures came in from uh, Malcolm Kors as voted um, four to zero each by the Community Preservation Committee. Okay, so they have a. And I want to. I, I actually want to add that line to this. Uh, step away for a second. Okay. Any questions on this one? Six. Nope. No, I, I wish Malcolm would have uh, came and talked to us about this. I hope that that would do it, that there's not going to be any chance that it would be more than that. Uh, the Coppola? It's yeah, been, yeah. It's, it's been a, uh, a, a project of Malcolm's yep. now for quite a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and I'm, I'm sure he's gotten some, some reasonably good estimates. You know, he's been, uh, yeah, he's talked to me a number of times about it. Are we all in agreement? Yes. Okay. Number seven. Okay, we're going to increase the hours of the assistant to the town administrator. And um, increase of 5,200. I, I yeah. am proposing that, and, yeah. and I, I have to say that that would uh, make the position, that would bring the position up into the benefited range. Right, yeah. Um, which would not cost us any extra this year, mm -hmm. uh, but would cost, a, uh, we'd have to budget Twelve thousand dollars for it, assuming there was a family plan right. behind it. So right. that's um, that is the the one that that's that's the reason why the position has not been over nineteen and a half hours until now. When it looks as though there's there's substantial possible further work to do. Right. I thought we voted to give her health insurance last year. No. In town meeting or uh, no? That that was the, I guess in town eventually as part of the budget. But didn't that get? I don't think so. No. Are we in agreement with uh, with seven? Yeah, actually, no, I'm not. You're not. All right, two to one. Yeah. Um, no offense, Lisa. The, uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm no, I mean the premise behind this was to take over the visitor, and I think that right. that. Um, Needs uh, to be fleshed out. Um, Let, if, if, if I may, if I may, uh, clarify that. Uh, no, that's not the purpose. The purpose was, in case the visitor ceased to publish, the town would be able to publish a newsletter. Okay. Is that, is, does that clarify for you? Not, not really. Okay. Then that takes the things that we're doing off the way altogether. Um, okay. Eight. What, 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 what is not clear about that? Um, when you had presented this last week, it was you were offering to add the language that this is contingent upon the town voting to take over the visitor publishing. So now it has nothing to do with the visitor. No, that's so, not what I said last week. In fact, I gave two alternatives last, last week, neither of which was that. One of them was, in case the visitor ceased publication, this is what we figured would the cost would be to start a town newsletter. The second was, even if that didn't happen, um, we're looking at potential uh, greater work in human resources to actually get us compliant with everything we need to be. So uh, that money wouldn't be uh, wasted in any case. We'll, we'll see how you know the grant process goes. but. Those were the two options that I outlined for what the money would be used for. And no, we wouldn't start a competitor organ if we didn't need to. We, we don't need to do that. But I think it would be a good thing for the community to be prepared for there to be a newsletter in case we didn't have one coming from the church. Yeah, that's a whole other issue. Postage, printing. 
uh, the whole idea of it being a religious publication, we being a town? Well, I would not <laughs> advise the town um, take a religious stance in its newsletter. Yeah, that obviously that wouldn't. This be would be a, a different newsletter. It would not be a church newsletter. It would be a town newsletter. If there weren't any other newsletter around, let's hope they get all the help they need in producing the newsletter. Okay, where right. are we? Still no. Still no, yeah. Okay, but two to one. Not as firmly no as I was before. Okay. Uh, one F and one F. Article 8. <laughs> Article 8. Everybody in? Yeah. Yes. No. No for Article 8 on you, Phil? Bob? Yes. Okay. We in the school committee still take our own minutes. Okay. Nine. Uh, okay. Raise an appropriate available yeah. funds to provide $50,000, 40% grant for the lift at the town hall, or take any other action there, too. Uh, I did submit a grant. This would represent the town share of that grant. We may well not know about the grant by the time um, town meeting happens. Right. Um, people may or may not want to con vote on it anyway. If we do get it, we can move forward with it. Uh, people may want to say, let's wait until we see if we get it before we tie up yeah. free cash. But of course, town meeting can always untie free cash if we need to do that sure. as well. Yeah. So um, I, I just as soon as stay on the warrant but just know that it may, it, it, it may not be, uh, people may not feel ready to vote on it if we don't know whether we've gotten the grant or not. That's fine. I but think we're better, I think we're better off moving it off the warrant until we know. Um, I, the, you know, for, for a bunch of different reasons, but number one, just our, our, our committee, our, our building committee just does not have the bandwidth to deal with anything besides their project right now and until they're done with their project, um, which is all coming together really fast. Um, I, don't, I don't see a reason to go forward with with anything. I think um, they're, they're, that's who I want running any kind of construction in town. Well, is our, nothing, is our committee. nothing can move forward on the town hall till we get a lift in it. So that's that's step one. Well, they are the Highway Facility Committee. Um, they needn't be the same committee that is uh, involved in other town building construction. I think it would be great to have a town building construction committee. We don't have one now. This might be a good way to uh, to get that to move forward. I, I, and I think you're right. And I, you know, I thought that um, I didn't. I didn't really like the way that the that the request for the fifteen thousand dollars for the study went down. That um, I, I thought that people had a false had, had an impression that wasn't exactly accurate when they left that, um, and, and I thought that you know um, I, I, n nobody did anything wrong. I, I, you know, no, but but like when the 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 response to um, Peggy uh, the 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 letter from the the senior group. That was complaining about the, the all the rumors about the kitchen being closed and no more meetings and da da da. da. And I, I, you know, it's one thing to say that 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 yeah, the the town will decide, the town meeting will decide what what's going to be done. But I thought that there was an opportunity to say, you know, town government wants this for offices, and we want this lift because we want this to be offices up here. And that that's what's missing from the debate right now is sort of town saying, this is what we want to do. And um, of course, Chief Baker did bring that up at the uh, annual town meeting. Um, but so, it, you know, it, it's, it's certainly out there. I've, I've never said it's not out there, but uh, it's, it's also clear that the town needs to decide um, what to do with uh, that resource. And Nothing I, I think a, a, a space needs study would be great. Yeah, I, and, and it would take into account all stakeholders, especially. I, I, the, I would vote the for this. I would vote for this if there's a commitment to maintain um, a public space for events and meetings in that after after any renovation is done. 
All right, well, we're, 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 you're jumping ahead here. Yeah, but, but the, uh, otherwise we're going down a very expensive path to construct, I mean, which is going to be expensive anyway, to construct office space where there is no office space. Just the cost of dividers and furniture and desks is very expensive and um, things like that. And so w this is going down that path. And so um, I, I'm, I'm not prepared to say I want to go down that path until I know that, we're, that, that there's a commitment to maintain a physical space in that building for the purposes of community events. What, what kind of community event are we talking the about? The rag and shag parade, the seniors, uh, well, whatever, that, that sort of thing. And okay, that's a, that's a, that's a one-day-a-year event. That is a one-day-a-year event. Okay, is, that's not the highest and best use of that space. To me, it is. So I mean okay. that's a legitimate that's a, and that's a legitimate argument, but so but so is the belief that that's a really important thing and okay. and, and, and worth and worth building the whole thing around and not having be accessible. Um, right. If nothing else is, let's still make that accessible to the second floor. <clears throat> I mean, but 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 not but not if it's not going to exist. If if we're just making it accessible for offices, then <clears throat> okay. Let's just talk about this Warren article, the way it is and the way it's stated. How are we voting? How do, I, I'm I'm in favor of it. Philip, are you no. against it? So I, I well, feel better about it if it if it, if, if it somehow said that we weren't going to spend this money. You, you, you know that this money is only going to be for. I mean I know it's that the the the, the money is contingent on getting the grant. That's what it yeah, says. Right. Yeah. It's a grant. It's a match for the grant. Right. So if we don't get the grant, okay, there's it, no it, match. Right. So this is a contingent article, right? Okay, I'm in favor. I am too. Phil? No. Okay, two to one. Okay, Article 10. Tom, what do you have on Article 10? Uh, sorry. Oh, this is, uh, yeah, this is Bill Solomon's contract? Right. Yeah, yeah I've, uh, Bill has done great work for us in the past, and for four thousand dollars, this is very inexpensive. Yes. Very inexpensive. Okay. I, I hope totally in favor. Yes. Are we all in favor? Yes. We're all in favor on one. <laughs> this is good. Okay. This is good. We're getting there. Okay. Three zero in this one. Okay. Next one, Tom. What do we got on the next one here? Uh, Mass DOT seems open to working on both bridges uh, near um, the beginning of North Poland Road, mm -hmm. where it meets 116. The first and the second. And that, um, that would take more money than we were talking about for them just working on the one bridge. Mm -hmm. um, and they suggested 10,000 for one and 25,000 for both. Um, I'm not sure why it's more for the second than for the first. It's supposed to be a discount for two, yeah. not a penalty. Right, but that's that's the number that they threw out, so that's the number that we'd like to bring to town meeting. So if, if we get this work done, they'll do both bridges. Right? Uh, no. <laughs> um, they, this, is, this is preparatory work. Right. Um, they, there could be all, you know, there, we could find, this is, this is, uh, uh, the, the majority of it is a title examination, sure. and you know they could find something that made you know the work, you know, too difficult for them to consider or something like that. So no, they, 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 this does not bind them to anything. <laughs> but, but it prepares the way. But uh, without this work, they would not do the project. Oh, well, okay, yeah. they're willing to to consider both bridges if we do this? Apparently so. But okay. both bridges need to be done great. anyway, eventually. That's they, right. they were originally slated to be done when the one was done uh, a few years so, ago. Uh, so my question so, is, like, yeah. is, is there a potential if they can't do them both and you're on the whatever two or three year cycle between them or whatever, does this work that gets done now still count three years from now will they, or will they demand sure. that it be done all over again? Yeah, no, sure. yeah the title examination will be good, the surveys will be good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All three again? Yes. Oh, this is getting crazy here. <laughs> Twelve. Okay. 
All right. Does anybody have any questions no. on this? Okay. Everybody's in favor? What are we talking about? Bills from a prior year. Yes, yes, Bill yes. Bill. Okay. Yeah. Prior year bills. That's not a big deal. Now, okay. uh, I have inserted, and actually, you know, I'd like to go back and insert the strong fire chief. There are two articles about adopting Mass General Law sections, and I'd like to put the fire chief one with the other two that talk about adopting Mass General Laws so that we're doing all of those at the yeah, same time. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's really the one that's... Um, Uh, that's next. And was that a three to zero? Yes, it was. And I'm having that submitted by the fire chief. I think that makes sense. Yes, yeah. What article is that now? Um, well, it's a new, uh, it's the new article. It's going to be a new number. Uh, we will need a new article six. New six. Okay. Um, new six. For adopting MGL chapter 48, section 42, establishing the position of fire chief as a strong chief. So then all the rest of them will be bumped up by one. By yeah. one, yes, hopefully. Yeah. Doing that now. Strong chief sounds like a <laughs> professional wrestler's nickname. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, Phil. It's okay. Just bring some levity into it here. Okay. Everybody read to Article 13? Yes. Oh, is everybody in favor of Article 13? I am. Robert, are yeah. you? Okay. So or 14 now. Well, okay. Well, yeah, well, now that's yeah. complicated. Well, You're complicating things right, right there. Okay. okay. But let's not Article 14. He, he <laughs> changes the number. He did. He already changed okay. it. Okay. Is that three? Yeah, three zero. Yeah. yeah. Tell you, we have a streak going here. We have like yeah. uh, four three zeros in a row. No pressure, though. No. So that's it. That's it. Uh, hang on, I just have to get the uh, recommendations in. Uh, the Do you want me to read them to you? I have them all Oh, you have them all, okay. Yeah. Um, I just want to go one more time to section 42 and actually print it. This is what I had given you when we discussed this before, which is the Strong Chief Statute. Mm -hmm. So, that's making sure so was, that it's was 42 his, and not 42A. Well, so, I mean, his point was that if you're not a Strong Chief, then you're a Weak Chief automatically? Yes. You, you're not just a, you're just not a Strong Chief. Uh -huh. it's kind of, uh, so it was three to zero for uh, uh, Bill Sullivan. Yeah. Uh, title examinations for the DOT bridge. Yeah. Yes. Three to zero. Paying bills from the prior year was three to zero. Yeah. So we are left with the highway. We did it. We were three, three to zero. zero. And that was three to zero as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So I have two to one on the dog licensing deadlines and fees, increasing the hour of the assistant to the town administrator, uh, providing more funds for uh, administrative assistant services for boards, uh, and two to one also for the lift. Yes. And those yep. are the only two to one votes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what was the language you have for the new six? The new six is to see if the town will adopt MGL Chapter 48, Section 42, establishing the position of fire chief as a strong chief. Good. Kind of uh, telegraphed language that is actually the chapter and section that matter, but you tell them what it is, and that's mm -hmm. the best way. Simple, plain. Yeah. Except, except, except the term. It's a real term. It's not in the statute. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, it doesn't so it strong. should be in quote marks, then. The word, the term strong chief should be in quote marks. You like it? Yeah. I can do it. So is our goal to sign this tonight? That's the goal. That it certainly is. And so we're not going to... With no finance committee. No. Uh, what I have for them is not available at the time of printing. I'm making two copies because, you know, something might happen. I might spill coffee on one. Oh. Yeah, okay. Good idea. We got the quote marks? Good. So for Article 4, it also wants the assessor's recommendation. Uh, uh, Do they recommend that? I don't think that's in doubt. I think so too. They, they submitted the article. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. yeah, I don't have it. I suppose I should put not available at the time of printing. Um, they can always they can always say what it is at the at the town meeting. Yeah. Right. They can. It, it would be uh, cleaner, as somebody said. Um, except I just want to check to see if that's actually true. Uh, I because. It seems odd that their opinion would be solicited formally in the warrant, but... Well, in case there was a split recommendation on the... Um... Uh, you know, it could be, could be two to one, something like that. Uh, there's not current... I do not have a vote um, on that, unfortunately. What time is our old committee meeting? Seven. Seven. Forty-five minutes. This is from the, 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 the sending him the law. What, long time ago? Yeah. yeah. Like, we talked about 1980, and we talked about to the present. I don't know what came up in those other, but, but the actual thing is driving, you know, it, it, driving this again. And it makes me the way if you want to say, let's not do that. Thank you, Tom. Tom, do we have any items uh, not anticipated 48 hours in advance? Uh, 
I do not. Okay. Uh, do you have an update for us? Um, not formally. The only thing I will say is that the final installment of the Town Academy is coming up. It is permitting boards, the uh, Board of Health, Conservation Commission, Planning Board, and Zoning Board of Appeals will all be telling you what they do. Uh, and uh, we'll pass out some forms, and you'll you'll hear about the board you so, need to go to if you want to do anything. So the, okay. the what else what also came up for you is the the that DEP thing is very has been very public. It was very noisily done, and it is nothing. I think we're better off just making a comment about it here now that it is nothing, and that nobody needs to maybe under announcements. That's good. Um, or, or, or if it's a concern, you could do it under concern. Have you finished your update? Yeah. Concerns of the selectmen. Do you have a concern? Well, <laughs> um, um, so, so, so what I, I was called down to the uh, to Frontier over the weekend, I guess it was Saturday, because uh, the consultant, so we, we, the grammar, the Columbia Grammar School is, is a public water supply, um, which is... Uh, has a just much higher levels of, uh, of paperwork and, and and whatnot, and so well, there's a consultant. That, there there needs to be monthly water checks, water water mm -hmm. quality, whatever. And the consultant arrived to do the monthly check, saw the new construction, and uh, was concerned about the construction being too close to the well, and filed a complaint with the DEP against the town of Conway. What? Yes. What? And and, and so this was done. Um, so there's a lot of people in the building. I've been asked about it numerous times. Um, that the, the this was an issue that was looked at in 2014 when they were originally plant when the original plant whatever the original plans were 1974. But this is you know the, um, they looked at this. This is just strictly an issue of like a tape measure and an actual physical measurement. And um, and, and, and I and I think I can let Tom take it from here, but uh, because you dealt with it. At some point, more, more than that, and I, but I, but I've been told that it is, not, it you know, we're okay. It's it's we're we're whatever, but but because enough people know about this and know that the DEP was contacted, I think it's good just to for to have, to have Tom just talk about what he knows about it so that everybody can relax. We're in full compliance. We are in full compliance. Yeah. Okay. That's. that's well, what does this complaint mean? Did, did it means that he didn't or? he didn't find out whether or not we were in full compliance before, before he made the complaint. Made the complaint. And the DEP will find that out. They come out and look. They wrote me. I wrote them back. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And you know, this is also the gentleman that you know felt it was necessary for us to replace that tank when that was sort of a more of a choice than a necessity, and it turned out to be not such a great choice in the opinion of many of us um, due to the year-long aggravation that it cost this town and not least of which was additional funds and whatnot but that's all resolved now too that tank is good he, he does the water testing for the well right okay yeah huh. all right enough said and would like to congratulate for the, the new uh the, the the new highway uh the new frontier facilities director who's billy uh, uh his last name? Uh, H. Uh, yes. Uh, he was. He was very much on top about. of this. Very Hildreth. much. Hildreth. Yes. Yes. Okay. And al already in like one week, he er, or in one month, he knows more about our building and what needs to be done, what has been done, th than the previous guy did in twenty years. Okay. And 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 he worked very admirably with the DP and whatever and headed this all off and got the people whatever so he did a really good job and uh, congrats to him and it's good to have somebody that uh, that was a good hire as well they're on a roll of good hires so, okay yeah good yeah okay we have no mail uh, we have an announcement that the holiday party is going to be December the 19th yes and that's going to start at Five? Did we start at four or five? Uh, usually we said the holiday party. It's five usually. Five. Five, five to yeah. what, eight? Five, five to seven, I think. Five to seven? Okay, yeah. five to seven. 
We hope everybody comes to that. Uh, to It'll that make party. for a much better school committee meeting if everybody yes. comes to that. For oh no, you're not having a school yeah, committee yeah. meeting that time. That's right. Oh good, so the school yeah. committee yeah. can come then. Yes, yes, that's good. Yep. Or at least I can. <laughs> okay. Our next meeting is scheduled for next Monday. That's the 25th, and that's going to be at six o'clock. Correct. The usual yes. time. Okay, six o'clock. Okay. Are there any other items to come before the board? No. Uh, if not, I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Do I have a second? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay.